Hey guys, this is Ringo Rivers, and well, behold, they're absolutely, well, well, remo well remodeling the same kind of place of the, of the abandoned Joe's Crab Shack, but this time, it's a different sea, it's a, it's a different seafood restaurant, or whatever kind of restaurant that, that they're gonna, that, that they're really gonna turn it into now, because seriously, this feels like a childhood, a childhood place. And all I wanted is this Joe's Crab Shack sign. I wanted this sign so badly that I wanna, I wanna preserve it for historical, historical purposes, preservation. Oh, this is a beautiful old sign, old school sign. I guess it came on the, I guess it was built in the 2000s or is it around the 90s that was built like this? It does look like it's 90s. What do you think? What do you think when this, when this sign was, wasn't, was put up here? Or when did this Joe's Crab Shack opened? Like, when did it first open, guys? Let me know. Give me a lot of views, guys. You see, you see, guys? This is what Joe's Crab Shack used to be, guys. Be before it, before they abandoned the entire restaurant around, I guess, either 2018 or 2019. Just look at that building. This is intense. This is amazing. This is amazing, this building. I love this building. This is like... But yeah, the, those those no good, brainless, wacko neighbors just literally had to had to throw a Molotov cocktail around the around the once abandoned Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah, yeah, this literally caused a problem. I mean, it really caused. I mean, that really caused an absolute massive problem when, well, when, when they absolutely, um, when they absolutely, yeah, I mean, seriously, they threw a mo Molotov cocktail, like, somewhere, I don't know where, I don't know where they exactly threw a Molotov cocktail around, around this building, but, yeah. But yeah, it, it was there. It was there. Literally at the abandoned Joe's Crab Shack, people. I mean, behold, everyone. This is really what Joe's Crab Shack used to be, guys. A beach themed, a beach themed area that used to say, I mean, seriously, that, that's, it used to say, eat at Joe's on that arch like somewhere around in the middle right there right there in the middle i mean yeah but anyways is mambo seafood restaurant gonna be better than joe's crab shack guys i mean it's a seafood restaurant mambo i haven't heard of that place but it i don't know if it's texas based just like joe's crab shack but i don't know guys I don't know if, if the food is going to be that good, but, but place your bets, everyone, because seriously, I really wanted that Joe's Crab Shack sign. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is a beautiful sign I wanted in my house, and maybe, and maybe in the future I would have it in my mansion and put it in my preservation section just to see where I got this at. Literally at 410 San An at the San Antonio's Loop 410's former Joe's Crab Shack. Former vacant abandoned Joe's Crab Shack. I wanted that sign, guys. As the mighty fallen people.
but at least they're they're absolutely preserving those preserving those signature lights right here the lamps up oh, just to give it that joe's crab shack feel this is still joe's crab shack building that used to be am i right people place your bets i want it i want it 4711 Northwest Loop 410. Woo! Wee! Woo! Blue roofs. So, what do you think, guys? Do you think I could keep this Joe's Crab Jack sign for preservation? Or. Or what? Or what? Because I wanted that. Anyways. Rest in peace, Joe's Crab Shack, San Antonio 410. Rest in peace. You gotta go eat at Joe's. We'll miss you. Bye.